destination now is the Eureka Springs KOA campground on this map. We use the KOA.com website to reserve our space, which is a good size pull through suitable for our rig. Hi there, RV Shop and Chef here. So we made it to Eureka Springs and we're on the main street right now. We actually found some parking. It was three hours of parking for three dollars, so I guess a dollar an hour right by the old courthouse and we are here in front of the downtown station and ticket office so if you want to get some information pick up brochures about the area take a quick restroom stop this is the place to go pick up some brochures about what to do in the area and we'll take you on a tour until then just up the stairs here we are in eureka springs Little hidden staircase in town. Let's see where it goes. And at the top of the staircase, some beautiful old houses. Look at these historic houses. Gas Eureka lantern. Springs. Yep, has a gas lantern on the top. Nicely landscaped. See the whole area here. And there's the dwellers there. Well, let's go see the rest of the city. That's what you have. Five and dime. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a really old kind of stone wall behind these uh, ancient houses that have been nicely refurbished. This is kind of cool. Look at the rocks behind it. Here we are looking right up the mountainside at the Basin Park. Shows you the vertical cliff here in the park area. And the street view in Eureka Springs. Unusual buildings. Cars coming and going, motorcycles parked here. Oh look, there's a walking path up there. And, yep. How do you get here? The walking path. Oh, stairs. Basin Park Hotel, that's a big one. And, there's kind of like a flat iron building right at the end. See the souvenir shops and sets on the street. Hey guys, RV Shop and Chef here, and we're right in front of the New Orleans Hotel. You guys remember we were on the way to New Orleans and we couldn't go because of the big flood. And so now they brought New Orleans to us. We're here in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and the New Orleans Hotel is behind us. Super cool. I say we walk over and get some history. Well, let's find out more about the New Orleans Hotel now. <laughs> I think they call this the City of Stairs or something like that. 
there's the stairs going down. Take a look at these old buildings. Barbie Shop and Chef here. I just found a store that is so cute. It's got every type of hot sauce you could ever want. So every flavor, every color, it's just so cute. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. Good variety. So we have we try to have a pretty good variety. Yeah. So if there's something for everybody. We do have a couple of local items. Um, so those are those are fairly popular because okay. a lot of people, you know, they like to get something from the area whenever we Yeah. Them, so. And what would that be? I might have to pick that up. So we have the Monday sauce. They have they have a Bloody Mary mix that's over here on the table. Okay. And they also have a few. <laughs> yeah. They also have a few hot sauces that are over there. Um, but really, they're good on just about anything. Yeah. My husband actually made a peanut butter sandwich. Oh my gosh. Like a couple weeks ago. He said it you was like peanut butter and jelly. That might work. It was a hot peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Remind me the name of the company and where you're located. Um, Silly Chili. We're in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. We have to show it off. Here we have it. I think that would fit, actually. I think it would. <laughs> All right. And what was your name? Andrea. Andrea, we sure enjoyed being able to film you here, and we're going to have to now shop through the yeah, silly that's chili. Right. <laughs> yeah, take a look around. Okay. Donnie G's. Hot looks sauce. yummy. Yes. It's all natural ingredients and only one gram of sugar, so it's great for diabetics. Just found that out. And then, of course, the peach pepper jam with peaches from Ooh. the local area. So, yummy. RV Shopping Chef here, and here is the wonderful Miss Carol standing in front of Thorn Crown Chapel in Eureka Springs. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a great big chapel kind of off here in the woods. Mm -hmm. We actually had some friends get married here um, a few years back, so beautiful location. Well, we thought we'd pick this up while we were traveling, and so we'll, uh, we'll actually go and take a closer look. This is a big structure. It may not seem that way, but if you take a look at the size of the people in the picture, it, it is a much bigger structure than you might have imagined. Here are the grounds at Thorn Crown Chapel. Also a very walkable city, a comfortable town square, great little streets, and who wouldn't stop at Nibbles? Yep, there's the street scene, kind of quiet the day we were there. Well, for now, we have to load up. That's our towed Shotzi tied up to our beautiful coach Liebling. And we're motoring up to, uh, to head home from Eureka Springs, Arkansas. We had a lovely time. We love that state and their parks are so beautifully kept. If you have a chance, take a trip there. And be sure to see our favorite little shop for chili sauce, the Silly Chili in Eureka Springs. For now, we both say shush.